everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I'm going to share with you my setup for January using the Confetti Wishes collection. It's a fun collection that's um, meant to help you bring in the new year. There's some vibrancy, there's some playfulness, there's a lot of whimsy in it, and I'm excited to show you what I created with it and how I set up my planner using bits and pieces from all of the kits from the entire collection. And there's a little surprise in here that we've had uh, Mr. Daisy help us with a little something to help you with it. ring in the new year, a little um, piece of custom artwork from him for you to put in your planner if you wish. So I've got that for you and just lots of fun stuff. I had, um, I really had fun setting this up. It, it's, it's a great collection and I hope you're having as much fun with it as I did. So I've got my planner, I got my pouch, I'm ready to go. I'm going to show you what I did. Can you believe it is January 2022? That just kind of blows my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, this is crazy that it is January already. And um, one of the things that I, in, in my head, it's kind of weird though, because we're um, trying to get ahead of any sort of supply chain issues by getting even normally we run two to three months ahead. We're already going to be starting June uh, product production. So um, February, March, April, May, we're already done and we're moving on into June. So it's kind of kind of crazy for me. I feel like the year has already begun, but it officially begins in just a couple days. So I'm excited to share January with you. We're calling this Confetti Wishes. And um, there's that's a little take on the dandelions that you see in here, as well as all of the kind of the confetti uh, watercolor bits that you see scattered around. It reminds me of New Year's when you'd throw confetti. And so we kind of did a play on that and combined the two. The other thing that I really like about January is it gives me the opportunity it's one of those months we don't want to do two months in a row of winter. Uh, we have a lot of people who uh, do not have snow in January. And so we don't like to continue seasons for, or themes. We don't heavily theme, but we don't like to have a seasonal theme um, two months in a row because it can just be... A, little too much for those people who don't have the change of seasons like we do up here in Michigan. And I, I love the idea of January being a fresh start and being new. And so I like to try and take that month and just kind of run with it any way we want. So with Confetti Wishes, what we did is we took the very, very popular um, style of artwork from our Doodles and Dashes kit and then we paired that with some brighter colors and again that whole kind of confetti uh, theme and then we threw in a few little cute little snails and some airplanes and um, just created a fun collection that's bright and cheerful and a lot of the quotes um, hearken to the new year and starting a new beginning um, so that's where we bring in the new year theme as well so I am using, for my setup, I am, I originally, I, I toyed with the idea of doing black uh, planner. I used a, a navy planner, and then I just, I ended up going with the white planner. Because what I wanted to do is bring in and really um, highlight the black and white from this kit. So there's a lot of bright colors. You can really take it any direction you want because it is so colorful. But I really wanted to go with the whole black and white. I thought that that was pretty. I thought it was, it made the colors pop and it allowed me to highlight whichever colors that I wanted to throughout. And it also gave me the opportunity to bring in a number of bits and pieces from our minimalist collection that we have. And that's a collection we have just kind of in stock all of the time. Um, it's completely undated, it's streamlined, it has a little teeny bit of a blush tone to it, but the majority of it is all black and white. And so there was a number of bits from this that I used in my planner. And I'll show you, um, I'll show you those as we go along. 
and just kind of point them out to you so you know what is what. And the other thing I wanted to mention, if you even if you wanted to use the um, some of the pages or the inserts from the minimalist collection, it ties in absolutely perfect um, with with this um, month's theme with the bright colors. So if you ordered um, any of the add-ons but wanted to use more plain inserts, you could do that. It will pair pair with it. Obviously, the minimalist collection will kind of go with anything. Um, so let me, and I'll, so I'll show you some of that stuff as we go as we go along. So the pen, the ampersand, and the bow, those are all from the minimalist collection. This um, pen holder, this elastic band that I have on here, is actually a pen holder. And this came in the um, January main planner kit. So you can tuck your pen in there, or if you have a highlighter, you can tuck it in there. That's what that elastic band is for that came in your main planner. Now, if you have a traveler's notebook, it will work on that as well. Uh, you can loop it around. You can put it on your booklet. You can put it on... It will fit on your daisy planner if you want to use it on that, or if you have a happy planner, it will um, it will wrap around that as well. So there's a lot of different uses that you can use uh, that band for. And then I have my notepad, and I made a, a few of the little cards like I always do. I tucked those in. There's a few little bits and pieces from some of my past um, collections, and then just some of the fun die cuts. There's one of the puffy stickers. Of the little ginkgo leaves and then of course I layered uh, there's a rub on and then a die cut of the little birds and then I tucked in the notepad and that notepad is from the main planner kit as well so we are just gonna start paging through here I loved the cover so much I really didn't feel like the tab page needed any more decoration if I wanted to add a little something I maybe would have gone in and added a few little glitter dots in there, but otherwise I think it's just pretty just as is. And then the other side, and again, you have that whole confetti idea which brings out the, the new year, new feels, new chances, same dreams, fresh starts. So I love that. And that's how we bring in that whole uh, New Year's vibe is with a lot of the quotes. The ampersand overlay is from the Minimalist Collection. But I love that bold graphic look with all of the bright colors. I thought it went great. And then I use the stripe pages as a record for my photos so that I can keep track of, because I try to do a photo a day and then record it in my daisy planner in this section for my memory, uh, my memory planning. So it helps me because I'm always, I'm always behind on it. It helps me to keep track of, I don't have to sit there and go through my phone and try and figure out what date and so on. If I just write it out, then I know I can just um, upload and print those photos out and I know what goes with what date. So I just put photos on there. There's some stamp, oh, and the stamping. So we had so much fun artwork for January that I ended up having three extra a la carte stamp sets made um, and they're in the store. We still have some left. I ordered plenty because I thought th these are things that we can just keep in the store. Um, and so you're going to see a bunch of stamping. I used these two especially quite a bit and I'll point them out as we go. So I stamped a lot on my pages and that's what you're going to see here. So these three stamp sets are in the Daisy store um, under the stamping and ink section. So you can find those. There's the one with all of the birds. And then there's two uh, floral ones as well. And if you checked out my stamping video for January, you'll find uh, some fun ways on how to layer those and use them as well. So I just did a little bit of stamping in here. And again, some more stamping. There's just a sticker. And so I just stamped the word photos and then I stamped the dates on there. Some more of the little um, dandelions for the wishes. And then I did some rub-ons as well as some little stickers of those ginkgo leaves. And then some of the bolder stamps. And then a few more. So that is my photo section. That's what I use that for to keep track of. 
And then the over this overlay was part of the classified planner. And then I go into my next section, which has the, um, the scheduling. And one thing I, we did a little different is we made the ginkgo leaves opaque. So you have the overlay, everything else is see-through, but then we made the little ginkgo leaves opaque. And I think that's a really fun effect. So I'm sure we're going to do that again. I like how that turned out. And again, you have that whole notion of confetti and, and New Year's on there. And then I used one of the oversized tags. These are found in the classified memory keeping kit and I love to use them in my planner. Um, obviously you can use them for memory keeping, but I love to use them as bookmarks um, in my planner. So I just added a couple of the little glitter dots. I added one of the ginkgo leaves and one of the little birdies on there. And then this is where I hold um, my little menu cheat sheet. So when I plan out the menu, I know what, uh, just kind of some ideas of family favorites that we have. And then, so this is your weekly spread. And I added, I added a few rub-ons. There's a few stickers on here, um, dated them. And then these little guys, I wanted to point out what I did with the little birds. I made little tabs. If you'll notice on the printables, on the side, on along the sides of the printables, we always um, just throw in a bunch of extra artwork that you can fussy cut out if you want to. And the neat thing about it is it's set up so that they're a mirror image, most of them. So for instance, the birds, there's this little guy in the glasses, he's on one side, he's the mirror image on the other side. That way, if you cut them out, you can lay them back to back and they will match up, which is what I've done here. So I've cut them both out, they're a mirror image, and so I can create this cute little tab with them. You can do that along the top if you wanted to. So I have these cute little birdie beaks poking out <laughs> along the side as my little tabs for each week. So that's a fun little thing you can do. Um, I do my menu planning when I plan out my week. What I do on these pages, now a lot of people use these as they're planning for the whole week and they don't really use the daily pages. I have to use the daily pages. If I don't use the daily pages, forget it. Nothing's getting done. So what I do with my um, weekly page, my weekly spread here, is I'll just create an overview of the week because then I can go in and I can, so I have my dates on here, set scheduled meetings, and then I can go back in and I can fill in the gaps with the other things that I need to accomplish that week. So it, it becomes kind of an, an overview of my week is how I use that. And then I go and I fine tune it on my, my daily to-do list. So that's how I use these. And then I do my menu planning and then something new. So I'm changing up my schedule a little bit. I'm trying to find a way to create more video content for y'all because I know you like the videos and there's so much that I want to share. And so that's one of the things that I'm really going to try and do this, this next year and um, so I've found a way to tweak my schedule, hopefully, that will allow me to do that. And so when I plan out my menu and I plan out my overview for the week, I'm also going to be planning out what video content I want to work on. And so what I did is I actually just typed this up on my computer and then just ran these sheets through my printer and just printed that right out on there. So it says video content for the week and I can plan that out on that page. So that's, I, I just want to mention, that's one of the things I love about these back pages to um, the spreads or even the stripe pages is it allows you to completely customize what you want to use those pages for. So I've got menu planning and video content, but that can be anything for you. If you need to write out blog posts, you can do that. Um, if you need to write out school schedules, um, sports schedules. That's the nice thing about having those blank pages is you can turn those into whatever you need them to. And so they're just continuing on. I did a little bit more stamping, some more rub-ons. And then these stickers, these um, Day of the Week stickers are from, actually I'm going to cheat because off the top of my head I can't remember if it's, it always says at the bottom of your sticker sheets. So these are from the classified planner. So if you're ever wondering, it says at the bottom. So there's a menu plan. Go to 
to the next one. Again, some more of that fun stamping, some of the little birdie stickers. And I love this little guy. He is so stinking cute. So I've got some of him on there with the ginkgo leaves going down across the page. And those are, those are um, from this stamp set, the little ginkgo leaves. And then the little snails, all these bright, happy colors. How can you not be happy and hopeful <laughs> about this new year? Um, looking at all these beautiful, bright colors. And then a little snail guy there and some more stamping. And then we move on to the back of the calendar. It says notes and instead of making resolutions, I'm making promises to myself because I feel like resolutions, you go, eh, yeah, I'll try and do that, but maybe I'll do it, maybe not. Whereas I feel like if you make a promise to yourself, um, you, you feel a little bit more apt to keep that because it's a promise and you have to keep your promises. So I did promises, not resolutions. I'm gonna write that down there. Uh, one of the stickers from the sticker sheet on there. And then my calendar page. And I did that same idea with the ginkgo leaves coming down. A number of these are from the printable, some are from the die cuts, and just layered all of that in there. And then um, I know a lot of you don't like to use bumpy stuff. I love to use bumpy stuff, and I even add foam adhesive to everything. It's one of the reasons I like, um, I should mention, this planner is a Vanderspec. And it's a custom planner and I can get the large 35 millimeter rings because I like chunky, lumpy stuff and bulk in my planner. And so it allows me to, to have that. So I used a little foam adhesive in there to raise some of those up for a little bit of dimension um, and just some other stickers. I might go back and add a few little glitter dots in there as well. And then on the back here, I just added a couple of the vellum stickers from the Bible journaling sticker kit. And then on here again, some more of those cute ginkgo leaves and a few little glitter dots. And again, I think it has the perfect saying for the new year. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. So I love the quotes, um, celebrate new beginnings. It's all about that new year, new possibilities, and all of the things that we have to look forward to. And then I'm gonna go into, but before I go into all of this fun stuff, I got some great stuff in here. I'm gonna show you how I use my daily spread. So, and I should mention that page. So this page is actually, when you get your daily pages, this section, the daily pages, starts with one page like this. Well, it's meant to be used as a two page spread. So I just cover that up and I covered that up with, this is a dashboard from the dashboard set. And so I lay it out like this and I stamp, I have the, the day of the week, I use a sticker for the date, and then I have the today's weather that I stamped on there. And that stamp set, um, we need to get back in stock. I'm working on getting that back in stock because it has these great headers. Let me grab that just to show you. So this stamp set is the one, and this is my sample one, so it's a little hard to see but it has the days of the week, it has the hydrate, it has um, some of the other little icons. It's got, I have the weather, the little weather icons with the today's weather header, so I can circle the weather. And then it has call email, meal plan. It has all of these different headers on here that you can use. Um, and it's meant to work with these daily pages because we no longer have set, um, labels for these sections. You can customize it exactly how you want. And that's what the stamp set was made for. And so if you're looking for a stamp set to be able to label your daily pages, I promise we're gonna get this back in stock really, really soon. So I'm working on getting some more of those made and we'll get them in the store. And obviously we'll make sure and announce it to everybody. So I have this side, I have today's weather. I leave this side open because I end up filling it up with jotted notes from meetings, being on the phone, ideas, um, math. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much math I have to do in a day. And so I just will fill that up with that. So that's just my little scratch pad for the day. 
I uh, my must do list is here. Who I need to call or email about something specific is here. My general to do list and then schedule. So these are timed things. Like if we have a meeting, um, we have a dinner date. I have to um, have a doctor's appointment. Or the kids do that. Then goes there. I stamp the little meal plan down here. So I have down what we need to do for dinner. So that's how. I handle my daily pages. That's the way that they work best for me. Um, obviously on any of these, if you need to fine tune it in our increments, you could do that here or on this side as well. So there's a lot of different ways you can customize it, which is what we love about the daily pages. So I created a fun little tag, like I love to do. And I did that with the four by six pocket cards. So I've got the little calendar here so I can flip to this if I need it. Um, this little guy from the printable, there's a couple rub-ons on there. And then this one just has the January. And then I've got this little birdie on the airplane. And then what I did is I drew out the little, um, the little tail of the airplane with the little dotted line on there. And then uh, this card is from the planner add-on. And I love this one. It says, see wishes, not weeds. And then I just added a couple glitter, glitter dots to that. That's it. Uh, with the printable, added my February goals. And then I created a pocket. And I created that out of the 12 by 12 papers that we have in the store. So we have these in the store. You can get just the papers or you can get the, um, the scrapbooking kit. I think we have a couple of the scrapbooking kit um, as well. So we have the papers in 12 by 12 form, which made it really easy for me to uh, cut out a pocket on my silhouette. So I cut that out, added one of the puffy stickers, little couple little die cuts. And remember, all of the die cuts are also stickers. If, you're, if you watch my videos, I say this all the time. Um, but if you're new, a lot of people still do not know this, that these are actually stickers. There's adhesive on the back. You can peel them off. So all of our die cuts are basically just stickers. They're just not on a sticker sheet. They're die cuts, but they are stickers. And so I created the little pocket, added our cute little snail clip on there, one of the fun little quote cards, and then I tuck my stickers in there. And then again, I used another one of um, another one of the oversized tags. Added the little bird in the ginkgo leaf again. And then on the other side, I used I cut up one of the uh, Traveler's Notebook memory keeping uh, cards. I just loved that brightness with the with the black and white on there. I added that to the back, a little bow. And then this is where I keep my um, my sticky my sticky um, notes. And the nice thing about this is I don't have to use the whole thickness. I can just peel a couple off and put them on there. And then you've got them handy if you need them um, right there on your bookmark. Add a little sticker and some glitter dots and you're good to go. And we're gonna flip over to here. This overlay, this pretty grid, which I really liked with, with so much going on as far as the other artwork, it's nice to have some pieces that are very simple. And so that's why we went with the simple white grid for the overlay. And I did the same trick with the little bird from the printable. I cut him out, the mirror images, and put him on both sides of that. I used one of the dashboards for my divider page. And this is my don't forget page. This is my monthly to do. Just added some rub-ons and stickers. And then my mail, my daily to do, sorry, my daily to do added some rub-ons and a few other little die cuts and stickers um, to that. And then I attached the cute little airplane beaded um, charm and clip right there. That goes on there so I know how to get to it. So that just hangs right there. And then that cute ginkgo paper again with the little snails. And then this. All right, I've got a couple fun things to show you. I'm kind of excited about this. So if you got our um, December main planner, the Winter Twilight, you received. Let me pull this out. 
you received a couple of these plastic sleeves. I ordered extra um, and they are in the store under, I'd have to double check, but they're in the store, in the Daisy store. I think they're under pouches. So if you look in there, you'll find them and you can, um, you can purchase these separate now. There's so many different things you can use these for. They're great for storing stamps. They're great for storing die cuts. They're great for storing um, stickers, extra bits of um, pattern paper. I do that with um, I do that with mine. I don't have that in front of me. Um, so anything like that you can put. I use them in my planner though as well. And I did this last month for my Christmas list. So I decided to do it. On, and I ended up using all the lists out of here. It was great. So I ended up using it again this month. So what I did, I want to show you what I did here. So I took a piece of pattern paper and I tucked it in there and punched it all at once. It's a little easier to do that is to put the pattern paper in there and then punch through everything all at once. And then I took, so one of the things that I do I get a set of the classic vertical inserts and I'll show you what I do with some of um, the other pages in a minute, but I take these pages and I will, um, this is my sample one, so it's not perforated, but I will perforate, I will tear those along the perforation and then I cut them down a little bit because there's these great lists on both sides. And so they make great little note card lists that I can, if I need to create a shopping list, need to make a grocery list for Mr. Daisy to send him to the store. He's our hunter gatherer here. And um, so it just makes it nice and easy that I can take those, I can write out what I need to write out and I've got all of these little lists handy, they're nice and long. And so yeah, I, I did that for, because at Christmas time, there's so many different lists you need and it worked out so well I decided to do it again for this month. And the other thing that I wanted to show you, so I added a little bit of rub on to the front of this. I added the dandelion um, and then the cute little bird at the bottom. There's a little clip on here with a little quote. And so that is what I did with one of them. And then I had an idea. So I have these in here and let me just move this out of the way so I can get it back in here. So that's one thing that you can do it. So you can add the rub-ons. I will mention that because this plastic is pretty slick, you've really got to press kind of hard to get the rub-on, really go over it, over it, over it, over it, pressing really hard to get the rub-on to stick down on there. Um, so just slowly take it up a little bit as you go. You may have to put it back down and keep rubbing. So just a note on um, doing rub-ons on those plastic sleeves. Okay, so this is so fun. So I asked, as some of you may know, um, Mr. Daisy, my husband, is a tattoo artist. And over Christmas, he's, he's amazing at like just lettering. So we have a chalkboard in our entryway and I hang the Christmas cards on there and I wanted him to write a big Merry Christmas banner on the chalkboard. And his lettering is amazing and he it literally took him like five minutes to make this beautiful Merry Christmas on the chalkboard. And yesterday I was thinking, you know, it would be so cool to have you write Happy New Year for me so that I could um, put it on one of one of my plastic sleeves. Well, then I got the idea that, well, wouldn't it be cool to have you do that and then have you do it so that I can share it with everyone? So what I did, and I videotaped him doing it, so I'll get the video up, it's really kind of fun. So he just sat down and he just drew this because again, I think he's just amazing. And um, so he drew this and then what he did is he tucked that in. So he just did that in pencil a minute and then he tucked that in and then he, he went over it with a Sharpie and traced it out um, on the front. So you can write on these with a Sharpie, um, any color Sharpie, you might be able to use a permanent paint pen. I haven't tried that yet. Um, he did mention that the surface is kind of slick, so take your time. 
And then um, he just, he made that for me. So what I did is I took this image and I sent it to Leah and Leah is one of our designers. She cleaned it up and she created a printable. So I'm gonna, this is just free. We're gonna post this and you guys can download this. So what you can do with this if you want, you can do one of two things. You can cut this out and just slide it into a plastic sleeve and not trace it if you want and use it that way. Or if you want, you can lay your plastic sleeve over top and you can um, trace it and draw it on top of the plastic sleeve with a Sharpie. So I thought that would be fun. It's just a little gift from Mr. Daisy to you, a little bit of his artwork um, in uh, tattoo lettering style. So I thought that was really fun and very nice of him to do for his wife. So, and then what I did is I slipped in a piece of this confetti paper because it says Happy New Year. I thought it was cute to have the confetti paper on there. And then I did a little rub on of the little bird. So I will punch that and I will put that in here. And I don't know what I'm gonna use it yet for. I may put some more lists in there. Um, I may put a bunch more recipes that I wanna try in there and put it in my, in my meal planning section. That would be fun as well. Um, maybe I'll put my not resolutions promises in here as a reminder. That would be kind of cute with the Happy New Year as well. So um, I will get, the, be looking for the, the little quick little video. It's fun to watch him do it. And then also for the little freebie we're going to send out as well. And again, just to mention, we do have a bunch of these plastic sleeves in the store. So that is that fun little thing I wanted to mention that we did extra this month. And so on the back of this, I added uh, one of the dashboards. No, actually, I think, I don't know if that's the dashboard or if that's the, wait just a minute. No, I believe that is one of the TNMK cards. I just wanted to make sure I got that right. And then we'll go on to, this is one of the dashboards. And I just, these are my divider pages. And I wanted to mention this little guy. So this comes in the, um, the classified planner and it's a, it's a hollow back. And what it does is it just clips over top of this little magnetic clip. And so you can change it out every month. If you don't have one of these magnetic clips, you can get those in the store as well. And then just some pattern paper on top. I use this small, uh, so when you get the dashboards, you get both sizes. You get A5 and personal size. I use both. Sometimes I'll use these um, for bookmarks. Sometimes I'll use them as other dividers like I did here. And then I've just added pattern paper to the back so I can subdivide this section. And then I just had some pattern paper. I took the goals dashboard and then this pretty January one, and then some more pattern paper. And then I just have a, a clear acrylic sheet with a, with a pen holder on there. And then I'll show you some of the other fun goodies we have. So the pen this month is that adorable little bird with the dandelion and then the little dandelion seeds up along the top. It's got the black hardware and the black crystals. And then this pen, the all black pen, that is from the Minimalist Collection and that's in the main planner of the uh, Minimalist Collection. And then, oh, so one of the things that's a little different um, this month is instead of a pouch, we did a just a small pen case or pencil case. So this has those cute ginkgo leaves on it. And then um, you can just hold a couple of pens or highlighters in here and then tuck it in. It kind of keeps them safe, keeps them from rattling around and you can tuck those into a pouch. Part of the reason I opted for this to change things up a little, um, but also because there's a number of pouches that we've done this last year that would work well with this kit. And I'm all about trying to have you use your stash a little bit as well. And so this one, from, uh, this was from the August collection, I think. Um, this one works well. The pouch from the Doodles and Dashes kit would work well with this, um, with these, this collection as well. And then also this one, 
that is part of the minimalist collection is the one that I'm using. This one works really well with it, um, with it too. And in here I've got my larger notepad. I love this notepad. This is from the planner add-on. I've got my stickers in here and then I tuck this in here and then I've got some of the washi tape. So some of the washi tapes, so these two are from the Minimalist collection. Look how cute that um, polka dot one looks with this. And then these are from this, um, the Confetti Wishes collection. So you have this great grid, there's the little dandelion, the pink, and then the cute little dots. So you have those as well. And I'm keeping the three thinner ones in my pouch. And I wanted to show you something else. So if you have, if you have, you can always tuck that under there and it kind of holds it on as well. So that's another reason I like those little elastic bands. But I have all of mine tucked in here. So this is how I have my little pouch set up. And I'll add, I usually end up adding a little pair of scissors and a few other things in here as well. So I'm using the pouch from the Minimalist Collection and the pouch is found in the main planner kit. So that goes with that. And then one last thing I wanted to show you. So I mentioned um, what I did with these pages for my classic vertical inserts. The other way that I use some of the other pages is in my Daisy Planner. So the Daisy Planners, the new ones that we have this year are completely undated. And I have a video up about that, talking about that, if you wanna go check that out as well. But it's completely undated, it's completely neutral. Um, and then the other thing that's nice about it being completely undated, you can purchase this any time of year if you decide that you wanna use a Daisy Planner and we send you two sets of stickers. Um, there's one that's black and white, there's one that's colorful, so you can add the month, whatever month you wanna start with. So you don't have to start with January, you can purchase this and start it with February, March, April, May, whatever you wanna do, whatever your schedule works. Um, if you're new to Coco Days and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know they had this amazing planner, and now I want one, but oh shoot, it's May, doesn't matter, you can start with May. It's six months and you can start, uh, you use the stickers. We have, we have dates and we have the months. Uh, we have dates for the calendar and we have the months for the tabs. And we have, um, there's also a sticker that you can put up here for the month as well. So you can use it anytime you want. That's the beauty of it. Totally undated, totally neutral. Uh, what I love about it being neutral is I can then take my classic vertical inserts and I can customize it and have it match my planner and the theme for the whole month. So what I do is I take the uh, cover page, I cut that down. You need to, you only have to cut it down just a teeny, teeny bit on the top and the sides. So it's just a hair, you cut it down, and then I attach it right to that um, divider page. I added the January stickers on there, and then I do the same thing with my month. So I will cut these down, whoop, I will cut these down a little bit. Grab the wrong one. It is, hold on, it's in here, sorry, it's just messed up. I got them all out of order because I was, I was playing around with them earlier. And I have them on, unless I used it. I think I used it when I was playing. I apologize, I should have that all set, right? But I don't. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay. So you have the two on there. And then again, you have to cut them down just a teeny bit. So before I put them in, just because sometimes it's kind of hard to add a lot of stuff with, with the coil, I'll cut them down. I will lay them on here. I will plan everything out. I'll get everything decorated they, the way that I want. And then I'll actually, usually I go in and I write out everything for the month, but you don't need to see all my chicken scratching. So I wanna show you the pretty version. <laughs> so that's what we have here. And then I glue them onto the pages. So it basically just covers up the calendar that's in there. They're already dated and it's beautiful and it matches my month. And because I love things that coordinate. So, and then, 
So you could use this pay this horizontal you could use for planning or memory keeping. You can switch them either way. I like to do my memory planning on this section. So, but if you want to do your regular planning here and your memory keeping here, you can. That's the versatility of the Daisy Planner. We love that. So I will go in after I do that and then I start doing my memory planning in here. And then I also use the collection for that month um, for my embellishments and my stamps and everything like that. And so it just kind of continues on that coordination and I can use up all of my supplies that way as well. And it just kind of makes it fun because you're immersed in that one color palette. It makes it easy. Everything coordinates. You don't have to try and think, oh, what am I going to do to match this and that? It's just for that whole month you use that collection. And it just, it's a no-brainer. makes it much easier. So that's a little look at how I use those as well. So that is January. Oh, my word. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from all of us here at Coco Daisy. We all are so grateful and thank you for this last year. It's been a year. Um, we're hoping for brighter skies ahead, hopefully a better year going into 2022. And um, again, we are so grateful for all of you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. We do have um, a few things left in the store from this collection. Um, and that's it. That is a wrap for January. I will see you next month.